sexy. Two egg. Your mind, it is like a gun. And you want to load it up with little itty bitty bullets of knowledge. What's going on, family? It's your guy, Bora, the Lucky Libra, and thank you for tuning in to another episode, all right, family? As you can see by the title, we're picking up the Debilitation to Your Zodiac Sign series with the Scorpio Archetype, all right? So, y'all make sure y'all tap into my website to connect with the Lucky Libra, all right? And y'all make sure to tap into my Patreon where I'm getting into monthly classes, exclusive deeper breakdowns, and more, all right? So, let's get right into it. Now, when we're looking at the Scorpio archetype, we have fixed water ruled by Mars. And we know that this debilitation series is serving the purpose for us to understand our natural weakness, our natural Achilles heel, all right? So as a zodiac sign, as your sun taking a certain, utilizing a certain energy constellation for it to appear and look and take action and gain an awareness of in this lifetime, it comes with natural gifts, it comes with natural powers, but we have natural debilitations, we have natural energies that's uncomfortable for us, may create some insecurities, may be vulnerable to deal with, may be uncomfortable to deal with, all right? And that's what we're focusing on here with the debilitation series to help us understand more about ourselves, help us understand where we could, you know, where there's always going to be room for improvement, all right? And helping us just, you know, spiritually prep ourselves for situations correlating to energies with our debilitation and our fault all right y'all so when we look at scorpio fixed water okay ruled by mars co-ruled by pluto so we take water that deals with connection vibrations feeling emotion and we fixate it so now it's a conscious trade of water a fixed water we could look at it as ice, ice cube, that's a concentrated form of water. Okay, we could look at it as a heavy current of water, strong heavy current of water at the bottom of the sea, okay? And at that bottom current, it's dark at that current. It's a lot of things that don't come up to the surface at the bottom of that current of water, all right? And you have fixed emotions here, fixed way could be stubborn way of dealing with the emotions, all right? Real individual way of dealing with the, with the emotions that ends up uh, manifested into very individual ways of expressing themselves because we know the moon is always sending the commands to the sun the moon is the reactions the emotional temperament and the sun is the actions the push out the expression all right so we throw Mars up in that water now that water is passionate because Mars dealing with your passions It's dealing with a more direct hot temperament fiery temperament It's ready to go all right it's direct It's dealing with its root chakra energies its goals its ambitions its willpower all right so just having just having once we get to that archetype we know everything about the Scorpio is gonna be deep dark passionate all right it's gonna be reserved it's going to be still with the way it deals with connecting in all types of all people, places, and things. It's very conscious with how it connects. It's very intentional with how it connects Mars. And then we have Pluto that's dealing with transformation, expiration dates, ruler of the underworld. You know, more of the uh, embraces the darker energies, embraces the, the, the shed of, you know, old skin. All right. So Scorpios are always trying to are naturally subconsciously influenced to transform the emotions, transform how they feel about things, you know, evolve with how they uh, feel about things. But they're doing it in their own pace with their fixed and consistent and stubborn way of dealing with the emotions so then when we get into the debilitation we know the debilitation gonna be the opposite ruler okay so what's on the opposite axis of that Scorpio zodiac sign all right Taurus what planet rules Taurus Venus what does Venus deal with your value system how you love how you connect how you relate your pleasures all right your sen sensuality, sexuality, okay? How you sexually connect, your Venus placement has a lot to do with that. And um, when we, uh, in its totality, Venus is gonna deal with love connecting and its value system, okay? And that energy, by default, is gonna be energy that Scorpio don't deal so well with when it comes to its love, when it comes to connecting its feelings, all right? You know, 
When a Scorpio comes in contact with Venus energy, aka they start to like or love something, this off rip starts building a nervous energy, can build somewhat of a vulnerable energy off rip, off rip. And this is not, now this, there's levels to this family is, is we can't just be looking at relationships or whatever. A uh, Scorpio could value a certain environment that it's living in and be and and be conscious if it, it could feel like that's going to be transformed and it has to. It's vulnerable how it connects to the environment, how it gets comfortable in its environment because Scor the Scorpio energy is dealing with transformation on on my, uh, micro and macro levels. All right, so. It could develop a conscious where they feel like they always got to transform something. They always got to be a step ahead about something emotionally, mentally, all right? And it trickles down into when they like or love something and they connect to something, there's be some vulnerability. It's a slow process for them. It's You got to melt the ice. Shout out to my favorite teacher, favorite astrologer, Dolo the Pilot Man. He has the most beautiful breakdowns and terminologies for things in astrology. And he has correlated, you know, that Scorpio energy to our ice you got to melt. And that's the perfect analogy here because when we deal with the emotions, that emotion of a Scorpio could be like an ice cube. It could be so fixated and, and sturdy and cold and it takes a while for somebody that's trusted or makes it comfortable enough to start opening that up some, all right? Some people, Scorpios are in relationships now with people they've been in, in for a couple of years for and they're still learning how to evolve with being more open so it's that deep. So when a Scorpio likes the environment, starts to love, uh, uh, it could be... <laughs> A Scorpio could be tight with a guidance counselor at school and feel like there might be some might might be some hidden agendas with the guidance counselor because you don't know what Scorpios be experiencing behind the, behind the scenes. By default, Scorpios being Scorpios, they naturally manifest situations. Scorpio sun, moon, and rises manifest situations, experiencing things that people don't be seeing. A lot of they, a lot of things they may want to put in the light. They have to work hard to get in the light because their energies naturally correlate to the dark. So now they have to learn how to be the light in the dark. So that's a whole nother. You feel me? That's they got to learn how to lead through being in. The dark you know so this is why a lot of times scorpios by default when we talk about scorpios that are uh, astrologers or, or teachers or healers you know eight out of ten times is going to be dealing with some more deeper darker occult esoteric like energies taboo like forms of spirituality things behind the scenes things that are extreme passionate intimidating all right powerful energy and when it comes to what it likes and loves it can express its love in extremes It can express his love in the extremes, all right? So I correlate a whole lot to this energy because not only is my son on the Libra Scorpio cusp, all right? So my Venus is in eighth house, but it's in Libra. So y'all see how I'm dealing with Venus, Mars, Venus, Mars, Libra, Scorpio. So all of them, I see the extreme highs and extreme lows. And I don't even like to say lows, but the dark and light side of dealing with love in its extremes. For me personally, it's very hard to gauge balance. Oh, just me being a Libra, but... When it comes to having coming into this world with extreme desires, because when you have uh, uh, Mars influences hitting your your Venus, or when you have Venus coming around Scorpio influences in some type of shape or form, you may have brought a lot of desires here. So it, it, it you you can see with how just look at what you desire in life, whether it's money, lust. You know, you, you're, real, you're real greedy, you get jealous at times, you got a lot of deep desires, you need to learn to evolve and shed them energies in this lifetime, and it could, it could correlate into relationships a lot of the times. Mars and Pluto, Pluto deal with transformation, so for the most part, it's going to deal with power and control issues, because when you have heavy desires to, to do something, heavy motives to do something, you got to fight for it sometimes, it comes with resistance, you got to put in some work for things that sometimes, and through that journey, you go through transformations, so a lot of times, them fixed signs, man, Scorpio have a real fixated way of, you know, staying locked into a certain goal, a certain passion, and they're going to go through, and they understand this transformations on that journey, so when they come in contact with liking and loving things, it's almost like that shit feel like it's going to get transformed, so it's like, how much should I connect to this, what's the hidden agenda behind this, who sent you, all right, them questions is always going to be in a Scorpio mind when it deals with what it likes and loves, but guess what, Scorpios, this is part of your natural lesson here in this lifetime, as a Scorpio, sun, moon, and rising, to understand when you appreciate something and you value something, take your time learning how to work with it, connect with it, all right, and the things that you've tran that have transformed the emotions based off of your pleasure, something you liked and loved, that can't be the reason why you can't like and love. That can't be the reason why you don't connect and you don't relate to others. Yes, others have different life paths when it comes to relationships. And we have to make sure we read influences and read our experiences to see what life is trying to teach us. But when it comes to you guys getting the potential to connect again or you guys seeing the potential in what could be 
and being too sunk into the past. Well, you know, water deal with that past energy. Being too sunk into the past at times, that could start fucking with what something can be. That could start fucking with how somebody else that has a real genuine energy for you, how, how they even start to see you now. Because it's like, damn, what's how does person deal with their emotions? And the Scorpio will... Uh, the Scorpio... <laughs> Y'all Scorpios, uh, uh, and like I said, this is my energy too, you feel me? I, I told y'all, when y'all in the cusp, y'all gotta consider them energies, that you are picking up both of them energies. When it comes to uh, something that, a, a relationship at times, you know, at times you could just, <laughs> you could just get, Scorpios could get detached with they love. Scorpios could be detached, like, because Venus is debilitated here, you got Scorpios that's either gonna be, Nine out of ten times when Scorpios love their extreme tight loyal lovers or their uh, somewhat detached individual lovers. They love is shown through their actions both ways, but uh, it has a lot to do with the experiences cultivated with the Scorpio. All right, because for the, the for the Scorpios that really experience some real <clears throat> real emotional transformative shit. You know, growing up, even even if it's not relationships, it's just let's say it's family environment and it and it influences they relation how they relate when they get older, which is very common. Um, you know that gonna keep that's gonna keep a, a a subconscious way of just dealing with relationships and period. And it's like that Scorpio may have to take you know a couple, uh, some time to feel like <clears throat> feel fully comfortable in their relationship or whatnot. Shout out to another favorite ast astrologer, Fernando. Fernando Prudham, and and he was saying uh, how uh, you know I think one of his exes or something was a Mars in Scorpio or something. He was like, I, I I still don't know nothing about the motherfucker. Like I've been dating him for how long? I still don't know nothing about the motherfucker. And Scorpios gonna keep things behind the scenes. They gonna have some secrets. So y'all just understand that if y'all dealing with a uh, Scorpio, because it's just a one of it's it's not even to be. You know you can have the most uh, angelic Scorpio out here. All right, you can have the most uh, compassionate, lighthearted Scorpio, which it is water. So don't think Scorpios is all just. You know I hate the I hate the picture that is painted for Scorpios that at times they're just so evil and dark and deep yeah they could be dark dark don't mean negative they can be deep all right they can be intense but at the same time they can be super loving super compassionate and that's what made them get transformed that time being too compassionate being too uh you know uh having situations where they felt like they may have been too open with the emotions or whatnot that's what caused a lot of transformation for scorpios okay so uh the we, you, when the plane is debilitated, you go through the ups and downs of it, all right? So with Venus being debilitate, debilitated here, or any signs is debilitated in Scorpio, Virgo, Aries, they go through their ups and downs with love, all right? Even if it's, even in the most fruitful situations, there could be some insecurities and vulnerabilities there, and they got to learn to take time with how they deal with emotions. So, you know, this is what I want y'all to understand, Scorpios, okay? When you appreciate something, you know, be in the present and take things one day at a time and don't let past experiences discourage you from the love that you can have, from the potential you can have in a relationship because we can always manifest what we deserve and you guys being in a state protecting your space, being conscious how you deal with your emotions, you're here to learn how to do that, all right? You're here to learn how to have a individual way of understanding how you correlate your emotions, you know, and always want to transform and be wiser with the way you do these things, but always remaining open to, you know, uh, an experience an experience okay so uh you know venus wants to find pleasures and scorpios things could just be deep and dark so when it comes to your pleasures you could find your pleasures could come in a real transformative way and and that's another thing like you know a lot of times scorpios you guys can manifest situations with that's that's with venus being debilitated and you having these type of energies manifest situation uh, relationships that's very structured off desire all right very structured off of lust and remember when we deal when the planet is debilitated we don't deal with it efficiently so not only do we deal with it in one in a vulnerable way we could we could do at times we extreme with it so you know at times a scorpio could be extreme connect and relating be a little too trustworthy a little too open and experience a transformative situation all right whether it's a sexual transformation uh, situation, uh, the way you sexually connected with some some way transforms you, or then some way, the way you connected the emotions with somebody transforms you, all right? So you could play up the extreme. So gauging that balance is a lesson here, Scorpios, but 
experience we here to learn we here to experience it's just you understanding that that's why you have that natural vulnerability that's why you know you it may seem like you know maybe your friends or or people around you deal with their emotions are more open uh, more open because the scorpio look at somebody that's so open be like damn i wish i could be that open like <laughs> He's like, I, I wish I could just post all my shit on Facebook like that, all my personal info. I I, I can't get down like that, have, have everybody in my shit. So yeah, Scorpio, Scorpio, miss out on an opportunity because it's too vulnerable. Miss out on an opportunity relationship because it's a little too vulnerable. It look like it's going to be too much to fixate the bebosis, all right? So that's what we want to keep in mind there. Now, when we get into the fall state, the fall state planet is, is the moon. Is the moon so like yeah? The Scorpios yeah. I would be lying if I said Scorpios ain't got it bad. These Scorpios we just fake got it bad out here. Like, but it's positive negative spectrum to everything. But it it, it <laughs> some I know I say the positive negative to everything, the light and dark side to everything. But shit, Scorpios got they came here with some work to do. All right, and <laughs> when we look at. When we look at the moon, the moon is exalted in Taurus, so it's going to fall in Scorpio, and it's going to be in more of a subconscious state, not really clear with the way it deals with the energy, more in this dream state, all right, not really having that much belief in what it could do, not understanding what it could do with that energy, so, and it could be hard to even, uh, you know, utilize that energy, uh, to feel like it, it even has access to that energy. So, we know Venus dealing with the feelings, your love, your love, how you like, appreciate, or relate. The moon is, the moon govern your emotional stability. The, the moon govern your emotions. Like, <laughs> the moon governs how you react and respond. The world that you live in. Alright, your emotional construct. What makes you the most comfortable the moon is in its fall state in Scorpio, so when it comes to the emotions overall for Scorpios, it's, it's just, you have some Scorpios that that's just like a touchy, and it's crazy because they water, they water, but it's fixed water, so they have their own way of dealing with the emotions. <laughs> they have their own way of dealing with it. You can't, don't, I never suggest to try to change the person you date. You, you got to see the colors, you got to see the red flags, and you got to know, you got to make that decision if you're willing to commit to that, all right? And don't, it, you should never try to change the person you date, but you trying to influence the Scorpio to be different, like, you wild. You wild. Because the way they deal with their emotions is like, it, you, you forcing them to deal with something they don't even be wanting to deal with for real. So it's like you're gonna have to do you date that Scorpio, you're gonna have to like size up, which don't I I know people open up, you know, as things go on, but just know it's gonna take some time. It's gonna take some time for a lot of nine out of tens with a Scorpio. Cause the emotions there, it just take a minute to visit them things. It take a minute to, you know, connect them things, relate them things, relate how you really feel. We you know Scorpio is a deep water, so take the moon and put it in a deep all the way deep at the bottom of the ocean. It's gonna be it's gonna be real deep. Everything that the Scorpio is into is gonna be deep, dark, passionate. Is all right. It's gonna be things that's behind the scenes. It may just bump into some occult forms of spirituality, taboo forms of spirituality. That might be the those. Remember, the moon is what makes you the most comfortable. So just the moon being uh, in its false state in Scorpio. Uh, Scorpios by default, what they in their imagination, they have extreme imaginations and they. They have their aspirations and their passions in their mind. They don't understand they could cultivate anything, but it's just bringing that, bringing them emotions and connecting things into reality. Be it don't be there like that. It's uncomfortable. It's be some insecurities with that. The way Scorpios, if when the moon deal with reacting and responding, so this is why a lot of Scorpios could sit in grudge energy, or a lot of Scorpios could sit in a passion have a goal or a passion for something and just sink into it sink into it add more fuel add more passion more passion but it's like all right scorpio you could execute it now but it's like nah i need more passion i need to fuel up on it because it's trying to gauge the feel of something it's trying to gauge the emotion of something before it acts on something because at times the way it feels about things it don't really know how to understand how to feel about things at times so it could take time before it even react to something with the with the moon being in this false state so you can have a, 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 a Scorpio just sinking into heavy emotion, but it's just like it ain't going nowhere. 
it ain't really going nowhere. It's just trying to really understand how to process it. So that emotion starts to build in a clump now. Now this is where you got Scorpios with a lot of secrets, a lot of things that ain't get expressed, a lot of things behind the scenes. Like these, these, this is our archetype develops and manifests this, our, manifest our lifestyle. It's not like this is just, it's like a magnet. All right, we attracting and deflecting certain energies by default by our certain archetypes. So this is what happens with the emotions with Scorpios. Like th this is why so much transformation was with what's going on internally. All right, uh, yeah. So just reacting and responding to situations, you might not get it. Like you might have a lot of Scorpio friends or Scorpio Sun Moon Rising friends, and let's say they don't have a lot of air in their chart, strong Venus, and nothing at least to make up for some forms of relatability or connecting. You may be able to. You may say things to them and they just don't read. They just don't respond. They text back late. They, you say things to them and they just like they'll give you a look, and you read they look and they look answered your question. That's how Scorpios will react. Will reply to you with them looks, them dead looks that answered your questions all the time. This is why they appreciate connecting with people that uh, that's that's more mystic communicators all right people that got you know you can just give them the look they know what it mean all right this is why scorpios will start establishing them type of looks and appear in them type of they'll start they, they, it's so subconscious but they be knowing what they be doing they'll be dating somebody 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 say something at the at the dinner table something that didn't really resonate with them scorpio give them that look like i hope you don't believe what the fuck you just said and if you really didn't you just talking some bullshit just keep that shit to your motherfucking self next time and you could tell by this look i don't really fuck with what you just said and it is what it is but uh i am not really going to express myself but uh, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna i'm gonna just keep that red flag in my book pack in my, in my backpack for now all right like that's that's how scorpio is gonna gauge a situation like that's how scorpio is gonna gauge that shit like like they, it's they calculated now. I, I don't know what video I was just doing. I was doing a whole bunch of videos today. I was just saying how Scorpio. Oh yeah, I was breaking down on my patient. I was breaking down celebrity placements when it comes to singing and articulating themselves. And uh, I know I broke down Drake. Drake is a Libra Scorpio cusp. Um, somebody else has some Scorpio placements, but I was just saying like, yeah, man, Scorpios are uh, they very calculated. Okay, but <laughs> that calculation really kicks in when it's time to deal with the feelings and emotions or things that. Ch ch uh, uh, trigger the emotion because it's like okay I don't really know how to react and respond or gauge or understand emotion or understand how to react and respond so I need to take my time and really understand what I'm about to do okay this is also why Scorpios don't like having big circles or like they rather have very tight knitted circles or that one or two per one or two people they could really trust because at times it's like the they may not try to show that vulnerability to that person but if it's somebody that they got that relationship with, they'll be like, yo, how do I gauge this situation? I don't really understand. Like, they, So it's like, if you just have a bunch of people you can't depend on for certain situations, Scorpio's like, I don't, I don't even want to be around you. This is just draining my energy, you feel me? Uh, when it comes to the emotions, being in its false state in Scorpio, Scorpio's be having to recharge when they deal with the emotions. Not only are they water, but at times they could deal with the emotions and they could do it in extremes and they exert the, too much passion with the emotions because you got the moon and dealing with Scorpio archetypes. So just by default, like your passions connected to your feelings, sometimes you could bring a hot temperament to a feeling that you ain't even really understand how to deal with yet and end up getting exp like a Scorpio can express some extreme emotion they didn't really understand or really even understand what they really meant for real expressing it but it came out before they got a chance to grasp it all right so this is why Scorpios take their time with their emotions all right it's a vulnerable thing than with the emotions for a Scorpio they experience the, the moon attracts and receives so Scorpios will attract and receive things that are circulating around their desires whether it's a person place or thing and may manifest transformations and power and control with issues with the things that they like love and appreciate venus and the things that they emotionally connected to the moon so going through so so much goddamn transformations in life dealing with your pleasures dealing with somebody you love dealing with something you love dealing with something that you was trying to understand dealing with something you was connecting to when you when you take so long to even connect to things that's what could manifest somebody that is more to themselves with the emotions it takes a while for them to open up very conscious with how they connect or if they not moving wisely as a happy scorpio placement type of person they go through a lot of transformations dealing with connecting with others okay um yeah with the uh, what else we got with um what else we got with the moon being in its fall state here uh 
Yeah, the emotions is vulnerable, man. The emotions is a vulnerable thing to deal with the Scorpio. Take a lot of time for them to get comfortable, period. Period. The moon is how you get comfortable. So a Scorpio could just be in a relationship, things is going well, they uncomfortable. They they hosting in a they hosting an event that they was they was hoping to go so well, it's going well, they still uncomfortable trying to gauge if something gonna be transformed if they gotta work like you know, so it's, it's ready to be it ready to be tough for my water signs out here. Shout out to all my water signs. Love my Cancers, Pisces, and Scorpios. But um, yeah, with that, with the Scorpio debilitations, yeah, respect the Scorpios. Put some put some respect on their name. Don't be rushing them to do anything. But Scorpios, y'all gotta embrace. Y'all gotta embrace experiences that deal with y'all opening up. Because just you, with your archetype being set up like that, y'all gonna have to experience situations where y'all bring heavy emotion up to the surface. That moon, you gotta understand how to deal with your moon. You gotta understand how to how to deal with your uh, bringing connecting things that you truly feel and connecting that to others, connecting your emotion to a certain goal or something that you're creatively into, and learn how to nurture that. All right, just connection on all levels. You're gonna question what you connected to. You're gonna feel vulnerable with what you connected to. You're gonna always try to size up to see if you're seeing a hundred and a hundred percent of what you're connecting to, because it may always feel like you're, something's behind the scenes with it. And you always gonna pick up a good gut instinct about things. All right. So, uh, like I always say in my videos about Scorpios, you always wanna allow what that gut instinct is to show itself, cause it always will. What's in the dark comes to the light, and Scorpios gonna catch that before anybody else do. All right, y'all. So, y'all already know what it is. It's your guy, Boy, the Lucky Libra. Make sure to tap into my website where you can connect with the Lucky Libra. And make sure to tap into my Patreon where I'm getting into way, 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 way more. All right. Next episode, we picking up with the debilitation of the Sagittarius archetype. And until next time, peace.